Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 17, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to follow us on Etero and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are getting awfully close to the 4,000 uh, range, and uh, we are also getting really close to the top of the bullish band so well at this current stage um, the most of the market is basically waiting for the fed what basically the fed will, will do uh, last time the fed basically crashed the market and um, uh, slip of a tongue at the moment from the chairman can basically put this uh, market again into this massive move to the downside uh, we fell all the way down to uh, roughly 3726 however if there is a solution to the to the yield um, the yield problem, I could say at this current stage, and then we could see this market basically go uh, above four thousand and go to four thousand five hundred and also five thousand. Uh, we will run into resistance around this area here, so we could expect a pullback towards the twenty exponential before going higher. Technical indicators they are all bullish at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So very similar here to Dow Jones. However, we have been rallying quite significantly the last uh, uh, six to seven trading days. We have been outside of the bullish band, and this is quite rare for the Dow Jones. Usually, when we get outside of the bullish band like this, we have a massive fall towards the middle of the bullish band or to the very bottom. So we can see it right here. We can see it here, and also here, and also here. So. Um, Historical patterns have basically shown us that when we basically get outside, then we basically um, have this major pullbacks and also vice versa. When we go outside of the bottom, we also have these massive rallies. So we have not seen it here. Uh, we have been outside for several days and we continue just to, to go to the upside. But we have run into a lot of resistance today. We're trading at 32,857 at this current stage. And technical indicators are still very bullish, but they are really rounding up. So we could see this uh, roll over and head back towards the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band before going higher. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Yes, so the Nasdaq, we tried to rally above the 50 moving average and then we basically failed. So this is an area of, uh, of resistance and uh, we can basically look at, the, for example, the Fibonacci retracements here and we can see that we are running in exactly at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and got rejected there. So it doesn't mean that we cannot uh, rally above this. It will also depend on what the Fed says. Uh, we could see this uh, tumble several hundred points to the downside before finding bottom if uh, if the market is not satisfied with uh, what the Fed basically um, basically comes up with. Um, at this moment, technical indicators are still very bullish. We are still in this uh, minor pull, uh, this quite a big pullback. Where MACD is underneath zero, but it has crossed the signal line. Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish. So indication, the indicators are bullish, but this rejection here at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, that is a fair big warning for the market that it was not ready to rally above this point. If we get um, good news from the Fed, uh, then we could see this rally to 14,000. We could also see this drop towards the middle. It's basically a waiting game at this point. So let's look at the German DAX. So we did have this rally last week, and since then we have just uh, been trading sideways. Um, technical indicators, they are all very bullish at this point. We're on the edge of being overbought. A pullback towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be bought into. Um, if that breaks, then we go towards the 50 at the 13,988. But uh, at the moment, we're just trading sideways, and we have the 20 moving this way. So we could interact somewhere over here and then head towards 15,000. So let's look at the UK 100. And as you can see, we continue to rally here, but we are getting fairly close to the top of the bullish band. And we could see a minor pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher. We have been rallying for, well, basically the last three weeks. So back here, we went 
the bottom of 6,459 and now we're trading at 6,797. We are testing these previous highs here so we could get a double top and head back down before going uh, going up but we are getting very overstretched so just keep it in mind even though that the technical indicators are fairly bullish so hope you found this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over here at eTro. good luck and thank you very much